Well, obviously the question is, has he covered this red? You're always looking to avoid those bulk colours when you're playing those shots. Uh, it's not quite on the diagonal. I'm not sure whether Ding can get to the potting angle. You can obviously have a go at the left hand one. Has he flew one? Oh, he has. Well, that's a bonus. One. And he's on the green. Well, he couldn't see the initial red he was looking at over the corner, but he's found one there. He just put the hand up to apologise to Sean Murphy. But, you know, Sean Murphy got away with a, a positional shot during his break and that clearance in the opening frame. So things can even themselves out after a while and take full advantage. Well, he can pot this one and go into the meat of the pack here and hopefully still stay on the black. You could really get them open. There's no danger, really, of knocking a colour in because the way the pink is set, it'll just go down the table. It might just play with medium pace. Let's miss them all together. That needs to slow down a little bit. It's OK. There's three or four reds in the open here. Wasn't that close, to be honest. Not to a player of his calibre. Whether he was concentrating on the cue ball and took his eye off the pot, I'm not quite sure. It can happen. But the last thing he wanted to do was allow Sean to get in early in the second as well. Two straight on the green. I think the blue might go, but he has the brown anyway. Just had a quick look at that red right of the pink. See if it goes past the black. Let's just see how he plays this. If he brings the cue ball down the left-hand side, then he's playing on that one. Paul Collier is the referee. A long way from Newport, which is his hometown. Of course, where they have the Welsh Open. Got a little bit near to that side cushion with a cue ball, but it should be okay. Thirteen. Fourteen.
and that's a great shot great touch this will open up reds to the other corner as well but uh struck that beautifully well. signs of the is queuing well we know that 22. you can always tell when they start going in the middle of the pockets I think he might actually just have to leave himself an angle on the black with this next uh, pot on the red, just to cannon one and two out. Don't know whether that red will pass the other to the left corner. We shall see in a minute. Thirty. Well, I think from there. He's looking for the cannon. This was a similar shot that uh, the Ding missed, actually, when he, he, he didn't get into the pack. Oh. Well, actually, that was OK until the black came and nudged everything open. But a bad miss on the black off the, the spot. Just there, it was fairly safe that last cannon. Well, it sort of rolls reversed, isn't it, from the first frame where Ding was in front. Murphy cleared up. Can Ding return the favour here? Feels like he's been around forever, and as I say, he's still only 26. Been on the circuit over 10 years. Just had a quick look at the red left of the pink here. Uh, he can get his hand on the table with this red. I think he's trying to screw back off the pack for the blue. Well, it's not bad. Obviously, he's played on the blue to the centre, but he's got it to the corner. And there is an open red, of course. Didn't quite get as much bat spin on that as intended. Didn't have to do much with this blue though, just hold the white in the in the middle of the table really. And it's the other four reds that need a little bit of attention. In fact, it, I think he's just looked at the possible plant. There's two reds set to the right corner. And that would be a bonus if they're lined up. That's good. Well played. Eighteen. Now then, are these two reds a plant? He's taking the outside one. I'm looking at that shot. I think those two reds are on, actually. Nineteen. He does have the angle to go into them if he wishes. He could play this at medium pace and push one towards that right corner. Might just drop this in, actually. The yellow is the option.
21. Well, this could be the key shot now. This will certainly open up the four reds. Dead set. Twenty-two. Would really expect him to win the frame from here, and so would they. Well, what we're seeing already in this match is how at this level just one mistake can be really costly. Ding made one in the first frame, lost the frame. 29. Murphy's made one in this frame, and it's starting to look like it's going to cost him. High quality all the way. 30. Yes, it, it was kind of opposite. Sting missed the cannon to the reds. Murphy got it, but he missed the black in getting it and left a red on from it. Not quite high enough to get onto the black. We'll have to stun down for the blue once more, but there's no problem really. And again, not a difficult ball on the table. Can Ding here return the compliment of the first frame? Should do. Forty one. So he looks like 22, so he's going to need yellow and green. 47. 49. And he's done exactly what Murphy did. As I say in the first frame, when the chance came, he's taken it. So it's going on. 52. Well, I think he's got the pace of the table. <laughs> this has been a great response to that man's opening frame. Yes, yeah, Sean Murphy missed the black, trying to split the reds, and that was that. Ding Jun Wee clears up with 74. Two real high quality frames there. Sean Murphy won the first, but Ding Jun Wee has drawn level at one apiece.